Containing the coronavirus outbreak from spreading continues to be a major global priority, and one tactic has been quarantining people in isolation facilities. But in some cases, it's not as straightforward. As an intense two-week quarantine of a cruise ship comes to an end in Japan, many scientists are saying it was a failed experiment in preventing the spread of COVID-19. Turned out that the cruise ship was completely inadequate in terms of the infection control. There was no distinction between the green zone, which is free of infection, and the red zone, which is potentially contaminated by virus. The Diamond Princess cruise ship seemed to become an incubator for the virus, with 3,711 passengers on board. 542 passengers ended up catching COVID-19, including three Japanese health officials who helped conduct the quarantine checks. Now, the symptom-free passengers are finally allowed to disembark. Questions are being raised over the decision to confine people to the ship in the first place. Some are even condemning the government's handling of the ordeal, like Kentaro Iwara, a professor and infection control specialist at Kobe University Hospital, who was volunteering on the Diamond Princess cruise ship and left after a day. Inside Princess Diamond, I was so scared. I was so scared of getting COVID-19 because there was no way to tell where the virus is. No green zone, no red zone. Everywhere could have virus and everybody was not careful about it. There was no single professional infection control person inside the ship and there was nobody in charge of infection prevention as a professional. The bureaucrats were in charge of everything. In an ideal situation, people could have been left off, let off the ship and put into appropriate uh, housing where they wouldn't uh, infect other people if they had the infection. But I think the logistics of that are, would be extremely challenging. We have to remember that there were 3,700 people on a ship, and uh, you know, I think it would be challenging at best to find access to accommodations, medical care, uh, basic needs at the snap of a finger. There are still passengers on board on the Diamond Princess cruise ship in Japan infected with COVID-19. They will be released once they test negative to the symptoms. Thank you for watching. If you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel, where we also dig into big issues around the world in our weekly series, Global News Explains.